Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today is the fifth week of surviving in Pakistan. Everything is going great. Weather is nice. Starting to liking it. Also, food is nice. Things are going great. And uh, you know, it's not as bad as they say. It's not bad at all. It's just few elements in the society that makes us bad or that makes us good. But mostly there are good. There isn't as bad as uh, it's been represented to the rest of the world. Also, weather is nice, mid of December, not much of cold. But for the locals, it is a bit of cold. Especially somebody who hasn't been in the country for some long time, such as me, myself, don't really feel that cold. But when you go out in the evening, you look around, everybody is lighting up some fire on the coals, warming their hands up, wrapped in a shawl, eating boiled eggs, eating peanuts. So it's a bit of funny thing to see, you know. And, uh, you know, as they say, there is, uh, there is uh, s such a big spike up in, a, in a prices. But as compared to the rest of the world, everywhere there is inflation going on. Same as in Pakistan. Yes, there are some problems, there are some things going on politically that need to be sorted. But locals or uh, the departments, they were supposed to work. They were not working, but they are working. So there is a bit of uh, confusion going on. So I hope so that's going to be sorted. We're not here to talk about politics, but I'm just giving you an overview how the things are going. Electricity cut out twice in a month or more than in a month. Uh, in, I would say, five weeks. So that went two times and uh, came back right on time when it was supposed to come. Uh, we have been given a schedule of uh, the load shedding, when it's going to go and when it's going to come back. Other than that, as um, there are some uh, weather applications or the websites where you go and uh, you check the weather and uh, you check the air quality. So according to those websites, it says it's uh, very bad to breathe in the air of the local air in the in this area especially north pakistan but it's it's not like that you know the reality is if there is a pollution you won't be able to see the moon you won't be able to see the stars you won't be able to see your vision gets shorter but it's not like that everything is fine you know in the evening it does look like there is so much on my background as well if you can see there is so much dust going on but because there is a close by housing society and they are building houses so every time they dump something on the floor and pick up something some cloud of dust it goes up in the air but whenever it rains whenever it pours everything is fine early in the morning it's clear and uh, a late evening it's clear as well so if it would be pollution we won't be able to we wouldn't be able to see stars and we wouldn't be able to see many things but in the evening it's fine when everything is calm and everybody's sleeping so it's just a temporary thing but but yeah you know once while you are not in the area and you don't know which area to be going which area to go in which area to live in which area to build a house in if you just rely on uh, online sources you're gonna get misguided so if anybody whoever is watching the video if they have a plan to come to pakistan instead of checking online ask the people who are living in the area that how is the weather and what is the situation of the dust yes they've been telling there is so much dust in pakistan there is so much crap in pakistan but sorry for the language sorry for my language but it's it's not like that it's fine it's a a bit a bit more dust in pakistan comparatively than in uh, united kingdom in london to be exact i've lived there and i've seen how dusty that place is yeah and plus over there you can't see stars your vision is very less and your vision is very small i mean you can't see many things and also expensive 
also there is not much of a time to to rest but overall place is going great fifth week and uh, nothing really disappointed but but there are some problems i mean the customer service is not a good it's not great i would say there is a customer service but the customer service is only great in some particular places but there is no system that system needs to be built up that system going to take some time again because the locals haven't seen the customer service they are not bothered they take the whole the sole responsibility on their own shoulders and uh, they don't even bother to i mean improve the whole situation because they haven't experienced it they haven't experienced it because many of the people many of the locals they're not educated or they haven't had a good education i would say i don't know not maybe not in a good education sense but uh, i mean you can't justify something if you haven't experienced it you know so over there in west the whole situation the whole work the whole department works depending on the customer service if you have a good customer service that means you're going to have your customers and your customers going to come back but here now close to our house there is a new mall has been built up recently and just got inaugurated last week we been there i've been there i didn't took the family i, I just wanted to check the uh, check the atmosphere first how is it uh, the mall calls the mall of wa we been there we did good shopping i mean got a lot of we spent a lot of money over there but again lack of customer servicing most of the staff they don't know where some items are or maybe they don't even know what this item is they need to be educated properly yes the standard is good the quality is good it's clean it's very nice looking place but if there is no quality you will not you're going to have a very less percentage of the people who going to come back whoever visited there i mean i'm personally i wouldn't recommend to go there and um, i'm not going to go there and i wouldn't recommend anybody to go there as well again another another problem is i mean you know on no uh, big stores and uh, in united kingdom usually when we go into sainsburys or we go in a tesco if you take something and you didn't pay not intentionally but just in case you know as soon you leave the store there is a sensor at the exit and entrance point where the sensor starts beeping and the security guard comes and checks your bag so that's a that's a that's a sensible thing to do but in the mall of war there are sensors but there are security guards as well so once you do the shopping you need to make sure that you keeping your receipt and uh, they will check your receipt they will take everything out of your bag they will they will verify everything and then they will let you go and then they're going to ask you make sure you come back again why would i come back again when when i went there personally i got i'm sorry but i got very offended and i'm not going to go there again that that is the thing that they need to improve it for whole lot of another level you know it's not a good thing it's not a good customer service your customer is coming if you don't trust the customers then you shouldn't be opening a mall but since you opened it you are disrespecting everyone i mean yes there are some people they are not spending a lot of money but there are some people i have witnessed there are people they literally one family spent it more than 100000 and but the security guard checked every single thing every single bag and they opened it now you imagine yourself you got a big bunch of bags plus they got a parking issue you can't take your bike in there you can't park it you need to walk so you need to carry all that you can't take the trolley over there as well into the parking i mean come on seriously you invested so much you made a big store but the system is not there the shop is there staff is there there is no system and the system they are following it's it's a very old and obsolete system that is not a doable thing you know once it happens twice it happened third time nobody going to take their family because you are basically what are you saying is ethically that everybody is nicking stuff and everybody is taking it 
and nobody is paying for it, but everybody paid for it, everybody has the receipt. Once you see the receipt, everything is fine. Let them go through, let them pass through the sensors. If the sensor beeps, then yeah, please check it. But if the sensor doesn't beep, it means everything has been paid and you don't need to check it. But they don't do that. So I personally, when I went there, uh, they did with me and uh, that made me think not to come here again. So I'm not going to go there. And I would say people who, who want to take their family just to browse around for a window shopping or just to check things around, you guys shouldn't be going there as well. They have their own security and they are quite rude with everyone. I mean, this is, this is not a, you can't, you can't say that this is, a, this is a good customer service. When the staff, when the people who are working in the store, you ask them something, Basically, they're going to say, go have a look over there. Uh, I don't know. Just have a look on that section, on that section, that's fine. If you find it, find it. If you don't find it, you can just leave. That's it. There is no, like, uh, there is not much of an intention of selling. And plus, the card machines, their card machines don't work. And they made us look like we don't have money in the account. But, and... You know, set aside this thing in Pakistan, the biggest problem in the area there where I am living, it's PF Wakant. In Wakant, you go to any shop, you say, we're going to pay with the card. They're going to try to grab your card. Then they're not going to give you the card machine like you don't know where to put the card. Or they don't, they don't think that the either Apple Pay or... Uh, uh, contactless is a good thing or it's a payable or it's a reliable thing. I mean, once you tap your phone in, well, you t you, with your iPhone you try to pay, uh, it does go through, everything is fine, but they look at you, they give you a look like you did something dodgy. You didn't pay properly or just machine, just, you just dodged the machine and machine just spit out a receipt. Another thing, in Pakistan, Apple Pay doesn't work. I mean, if you have a card, if you have a bank card and you need to set it up, you won't be able to set up. Your phone will not going to show you some options to verify yourself or anything. And uh, same goes with Google Pay because I've tried it. I, I thought maybe something is wrong in my iPhone, but something was wrong in the whole region. The people who designed the system and the people who are maybe avoiding the taxes or some sort of services. Uh, other than that, everything else is fine. Locals are good. They are very helpful. And uh, again, weather is nice. Food is good. Food is tasty. Fruits does taste like a real fruit, not like a British fruit system. Yeah, this is it for now. Next video I'm going to be making with the puppies and I'll show you the progress, how much they made. And uh, they did grow up a bit and uh, we'll show you how they doing and all and we got another pet and we got another surprise for you for the viewers that uh, I'm gonna be sharing with the next next video uh, most likely it's gonna be uh, the end of next week inshallah but for now this is it if you guys haven't subscribed my channel make sure you do maybe this channel or maybe the videos I'm making or maybe my little bit of effort gonna help somebody whoever is trying to come back to their country and uh, maybe it will make their life easy, maybe it will make their life peaceful in some way, I don't know exactly, but uh, I'm going to be making some more videos and uh, sharing with you guys, so if you guys haven't subscribed my channel, make sure you do that and share the videos with your friends and family. Thank you so much.